This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Four Seasons Lanai. Aloha and welcome to another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style Season 5. I'm very excited because this season we get to broadcast from my home island and share everything with you from great food, great entertainers and great chefs cooking local food right here from the Four Seasons Resort on Lanai. Don't forget to pick up our DVDs. You can get them online or at Amazon.com. Also our cookbook number one. Number two is in stores right now or online. We got some great guests for you today. Join us as we get started with the Hawaiian Pie Company. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea. We're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in the Cooking Hawaiian Style Kitchen from the Hawaiian Pie Company. We have Joel Hori. How you doing, Joel? Hi. We also have from Taro Brand, Richard Vidina. How you doing, Rich? Good. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for having us. Making the flight. We're making some cool <laughs> stuff today, aren't we? Yeah, we are today. Now, the Hawaii Pine Company has been, along, been around for a long well, time. Well, no, not really. Uh, no? We've been around for about... Coming up on a year, year, but uh, the roots yeah. of the company go way back. So how far back? 1932. See, so it's yeah. been around for a long time. But these <laughs> recipes are, are who? It's third generation uh, now? It's the third going on to a fourth. Going on to the fourth. Yeah, a lot of the uh, newer creations are made by the uh, next generation. All right. Actually, I'm just there to guide them. Okay. <laughs> and Taro Brand has been along for, uh, forever. Oh gosh, yeah, we've been around for quite a while, from 1946. So yes. coming up on 70 years. Taro yeah. making a huge, huge comeback, and I'm glad to see all the keiki starting to eat poi again. Yep. Yeah, because it was kind of went away for a little while, didn't it? Yeah, we're, we're definitely uh, trying to perpetuate, you know, Taro and Poi to the next of generation. Course. So. We've got to keep that culture alive. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys kind of collaborated today. Uh, uh, you guys doing, of course, pies. And today, what are you going to make? Well, we have right here, we're making a Poi, Kololo, and Macadamia nut pie. Right. And a lot of people are, you know, we got a lot of people watching all over the world now. They don't know that Poi is not just used as a starch. You guys, we use it in everything. You want to tell us some of the things you guys yeah, are doing? Yeah, so, so basically, you know, th there's a traditional way of eating Poi or right. taro, but now we're looking to uh, perpetuate to the next generation and have various options that people can can enjoy the taro. So, of course, uh, cooking and baking is a, is a big venue yeah. uh, now mm -hmm. that they're doing, um, you know, besides today. Right. Uh, also, you know, for us, we do our uh, taro pancake mix as well. Oh, it's when yeah. uh, you guys got the Poi Parfaits. Poi Parfaits. Love that. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. So you're also selling it by the pack with the Lomi Lomi Salmon. Yeah. So we're looking at, uh, again, options for, for the people to try. So right. the next generation is really uh, heading toward that. Uh, a lot of it is convenience as well. Right. So. Okay. What do we need? Okay. So what we have here, you've got poi. It takes about right. a one cup of poi. Okay. About a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon and a half of melted butter, two eggs, about uh, two thirds of a cup of sugar, some uh, carol syrup, okay. uh, corn syrup, right? And then here you have your it's a half a block of kololo, and then your macadamia nuts that are in halves, and uh -huh. we've also diced them to give a little bit more texture inside of the uh, mix. And we have some cream there. Pretty much, it's a pretty easy recipe. Uh -huh. Pretty much everything goes in all at once. Okay. And what do we put in our oven at? We are set in the oven at about 350 degrees. 350. Yep. Yeah. All right. Pie's gonna be in there for about oh maybe about 30. 35, 40 minutes. Okay, and what do you guys do? You sit around and just think, all right, what should we put in a pie? <laughs> well, actually, you know, nowadays, everything's, you know, with all the fusion and everything like that, everybody doesn't want just a plain apple right, pie right. and whatnot. So the- Getting creative. The younger generation, they're starting to figure out everything and they're mixing flavors and whatnot. So you put two eggs in there, the sugar? Two eggs, all right. sugar, two third uh, cups of corn sugar. syrup. How much corn syrup? Uh, the corn syrup is, is like actually about, uh, oh, maybe about a cup. A cup, okay. It's almost cooking like how my mom Put it all together. She never measured anything. How much mm -hmm. poi? <laughs> the poi is also about a half a bag of poi, about eight ounces. You know, Rich, everyone always asks me when the poi goes to the store, yeah. how do you know? If it was just pounded, or how do you know? Is, is well, there a way we, you we can deliver? Tell? Yeah, we deliver actually four days a week okay. to, the, to the various outlets, and um, there should be a color guide 
um, located where we sell the poi, so you know that if it's it's fresh All right. or, or a couple of days old. Okay, you put one cup of poi. Is that one cup? Yeah, about uh, eight ounces. Eight ounces, yeah. all right. About half a bag. Just mix it all up. Yeah, give it a good mix up here. Yeah, everything all pretty much blended. All right, we're gonna put all this together. All right, and then we're gonna put it in a uh, shell, I guess. What do you guys call it? What's yeah, the pie term? shell. Pie uh, shell. Which we have, uh, we sell at the shop. All and right, what? You can pick up. What is that? This is the ground uh, macadamia nuts. This gives it a little bit more texture. You see the texture is a little bit nicer. All right, we're gonna finish this up, put it in a pie shell, throw it in the oven, and we got more stuff to make. So don't go anywhere. More with Cooking Hawaiian Style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. I got my friend Rich from Taro Brand on the side here. Joel from the Hawaiian Pie Company. Uh, put in the last, that's not the last ingredient, is it, for the uh, pie? This is just a little bit more filler in here to make it a nice and sweet. What, what do you got there? This is uh, some heavy cream. Okay, just some heavy. How much yeah. did you put? About uh, a couple of teaspoons of that. Well, let me see, maybe two or three you can put in, depending right. on how rich you want it. And if you're not good at doing the dough or the pie crust. You can stop by at the Hawaiian Pie Company and ask for a couple of frozen pie shells and we also sell the covers too. Where's the Hawaiian Poi Company it's at? It's located at 508 Waikamila Road in the downtown Kalihi. And if a store doesn't carry Taro Brand, I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, but there's there's stores, there's people on the mainland now that can get Poi. Yeah, actually, you know, most of the retail outlets obviously should have uh, Taro Brand Poi. Yeah. Um, but we also sell uh, actually frozen Poi yes. uh, on our website, uh, tarobrand.com. And it's very good because as soon as it's pounded, it's frozen, so you're, getting, yeah. so you're still getting the, that fresh taste. Yeah, basically, yeah, exactly. As soon yeah. as it's pounded or come out of the grinder, right. uh, we freeze it right away, so it didn't have a chance to ferment. So when you reconstitute it, yeah. it's sweet right. again. All right, so. let's finish up this pie. Great. Okay, so the next step we have here is uh, kololo. Oh, my gosh, the kololo. delicacy yes. is like gold. If you've never mm -hmm. had uh, kololo before, it's uh, coconut milk, brown sugar, uh, taro. Or, or my boy, uh, I don't know the exact way to make. We gotta get somebody on the show to make this for us, because no one really, everyone has their own recipe, I guess. It's hard to get. Uh, you know, I think the best kololo right now is coming from uh, Kauai. Kauai. And uh, what on Thursdays only? That's what I understand. <laughs> Thursdays. So. Thursdays only. <laughs> and then not everybody rush there at the same time. Yeah. And demand. By Monday and Tuesday, you get fight in the store looking for the last one. All right, okay. so you just spread it out evenly. Yep. Now, the next step is to just go ahead and pour this in. Do I need to mix that uh, just like that? You know, yeah. you make it in, any finer? You just stir it up like this and pour it out easily. All right, and we preheated the oven at 350. Are we gonna leave it at 350? 350 degrees and we'll bake it in there for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Have you ever tried this with a graham cracker crust? Uh, No, actually, I have not even had a chance to experiment the graham cracker crust, actually, uh -huh. yeah. So the next step here is we're gonna be putting a uh, whole or halves of macadamia nut. And this is just more of a, to give it a better aesthetic look. So how, how did nice this crunch. how did this uh, pie company all start? Uh, actually started in our house back in uh, Manoa. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I had been working for the government for about 25, 30 years. And during that time for Christmas, we started making pies because I mean, that's what I used to do before. Right. And we'd give it out to people. And then after that, it's just like everybody, hey, uh, he made me some more pies. Was it your grandfather? Your grandmother? Who, who this started? is my great grandfather, uh, my grandfather's recipe, actually. Uh huh. Yeah. And the, did they own a pie company or they just uh, making it? It's pies? called uh, actually Holy's Bakery back on the Big Island. Uh -huh. People used to go back to Hilo, pick up the pies, and bring them all the way back to Honolulu. You guys make some incredible stuff. Thank you. You want to tell everybody some of the different pies we well, have? Well, we have, uh, like I said, the Manoa Valley line of pies is all of the new ones. It's uh -huh. like uh, we have here strawberry guava. Uh -huh. And that one there with the different looking top is called the Hawaiian Passion Pear Pie. That's now that pie. Oh, no. <laughs> I've the had topping it. is a, uh, it's a secret recipe yeah. handed down through the generations. It's not really a cross. It's a... Uh, a lot of people liken it to almost like a mochi yeah. type of crust. That's great. And it blends just with that just with that filling and in fact some of the other pies also. All right. It blends really well. So this is done. That's it. Well and uh, you just wanna tap this in so it gets into the liquid. Rich, did you, you bring ice nice cream? Crust on did you bring this? ice cream for this? Tower ice cream. <laughs> Everyone loves a good pie. So how many different flavors do you have now? Oh my gosh, I 
can't even. You don't even know. Inter- yeah, I just make them. You know. Yeah. <laughs> they tell me how much and when they need it, and I make it. All right, we're gonna figure this out. Put it in the oven at 350. Rich is gonna uh, join us a little bit later for tasting, right? Thank you. We're gonna make some more with the Hawaiian Pie Company. Don't go anywhere. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We got the Hawaiian Pie Company hanging out with us, Joel Hori and your wife, Jan. Welcome to the uh, kitchen. Thank you. You're going to be joining us making some cool stuff. We just took this lovely uh, poi macadamia nut pie out of the oven. And it was, uh, we had it at 350 for how long? About 35, 40 minutes. Okay. So you and get a nice brown crust over the top. You cut us a slice? Sure. Right on. Jan, and Jan, what do you do at the, at the pie company? I am in charge, I guess you could say, of, uh, of all the sales and marketing <laughs> and, and managing our retail uh-huh. uh, outlet. I didn't think Joel was in charge at all. <laughs> I knew there was somebody behind the scenes to do something. All right, so uh, this, uh, you guys do more than just pies, don't you? We also have specials of the uh-huh. day, so um, it just all depends on what my, father or my father-in-law decides to make that day. So. Okay. We have manju, we have bostock, which is a fe- French pastry. Uh-huh. Um, we also have cookies. So, so your your dad is still uh, much involved in yes, this. Yes, he is. Right on. He's uh, kind of turned into a rock star, actually. Yeah. You know, from social media. Yeah, and, uh, that's good. Grandpa Yasu is everyone's grandpa now. Yeah, and he doesn't even know what social media is, I bet. No, huh? he doesn't. That looks good. Smells good. I wish you good guys job, could smell this. guys. I'm going to move this on the side because we're going to make something else, aren't we? Yes, what are you going to make, Jan? I am going to make a pork chicken sausage kimchi quiche. Oh. Something savory. That sounds something good. Something simple okay. that you can put together for dinner or breakfast or even for lunch with a salad. And who put this together? Whose recipe is this? I kind of threw it together yeah. one day because we just needed something quick to put together for dinner. Okay. And everyone seemed to like it. So. And, and so what are the ingredients we need? Ingredients, six eggs, about three-fourths cup of uh, heavy cream. Uh-huh. I have about half a cup of uh, kimchi. Okay. And then about a cup of... Uh, mozzarella cheese or you can use any kind of cheese that you want uh-huh. and I use Portuguese sausage about one pack you know this is gonna be good already you got Portuguese sausage inside <laughs> all right what okay. do we need to do do I need so to start this first up? up if you could help me please okay yeah. I'm gonna ask if you could help me fry up some Portuguese sausage okay how much do we need so one? we're gonna we're gonna use all of it okay let's go for it so one whole Portuguese sausage. Whole, yes all right and I'll give you this okay, thank so you, you. Get started and I'll use this for the uh, Portuguese sausage. Okay. okay. And so, I, I, you know, I asked Joel earlier, if you guys sit around and think about what to do next and all these recipes, how involved are you guys really We're with really the recipes? We're really involved. Uh, yeah. What we've done is we've taken old recipes uh-huh. um, from the past okay. and just kind of blended it with three generations in the bakery now. It's been fun. It's yeah. been fun having our kids there and Joel's there and my father-in-law's there and everybody has a little say in how we put things together. Baking so, isn't easy. I got to no. tell you, that's one thing that I can't do. I mean, you got you to gotta really uh, know your math, I guess, right? It's <laughs> it helps pers- when you have to break down the different yeah. sizes of the recipe. So you grew up with the smell of pie yeah. every day. Grew up inside of the bakery. Uh, you know, we're little. You'd sneak in there and then sleep on top of the flower bags you know, uh-huh. <laughs> in the warehouse. <laughs> All right, so we're making a Portuguese sausage kimchi quiche. Yes. Uh, quiche is what? Is that a French word? Yes, it is. It is. Huh? Uh, I know a little something. And it's uh, basically it's an egg pie, right? That is, yes. Okay. So this is, this is six eggs right here. I'm just whipping together, and then I'm going to add my cream. Okay. How much cream are you putting in there? About three-fourths cup. All right. So you see, it's just going to keep blending that. We're going to put the rest of the ingredients in here and get this quiche going as we get the Portuguese sausage frying. Don't go anywhere. More with the Hawaiian Pie Company right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We got the, uh, the Horis here today from the Hawaiian Pie Company. We're just finishing up this quiche, sauteing some Portuguese sausage. Uh, you, what do you got in there again? I have our heavy cream and six eggs. I'm okay. going to put this on the side and we're going to cut up some kimchi here. Some kimchi. I like homs. What do you like? Kohala. Kohala kimchi. You like Kohala? Yeah. Same company. Same company. Family. 
So you're just gonna chop some up there as chop however big up. you want, right? Right. We're making a uh, quiche here, guys. Quiche, a French word that I just taught everybody today. <laughs> I didn't teach anybody that. I don't teach anybody anything. All right, so okay. we got some cheese. We have some cheese. So what I'm gonna do way. is I'm going to bring our pan, our, our pie shell here. Okay. We're gonna put it in here. All right. The kimchi, and then we're gonna mix actually the cheese. One cup it? of cheese. One cup of cheese. Any, any kind of cheese you want? Any cheese. All I right. use mozzarella okay. or whatever's available. Just mix it up? Mix it all together. The cheese actually soaks up all the liquid, I guess. By the way, we washed our hands before this, all right? Yes, we did. That's the, that's the most amount of emails I get. Yes. No thank yous, no how do you make this? <laughs> did you guys wash your hands? That's yes, the we question. did. Yeah. And all then right. what we're going to do is we're going to add your Portuguese, Portuguese sausage. sausage. Okay. Just uh, evenly around here. Evenly. Yet. Oil, everything? Uh, yeah. The oil's Why the not? best part. That's eh? the best part. All right. Go for it. And, and then. A couple more here. And then you're going to put your mixture I'm just in there. Pour the mixture in. And that's it. That's it. Put Done. it in the oven. What? Uh, what's the oven at? 325, 350. Okay. And um, for about 15 minutes. And you've got dinner or lunch or Three breakfast minutes. with All a right. salad. And just check it out, right? Yes. All right. What else are you guys going to do next? So we're going to uh, also make put this pie in shakes. The oven. All right. So we have a slice of pie here. Okay, and let me get all this out of the way for you. Let's get this out of here. Now when you talk about a pie shake, you're actually putting uh, a piece of pie into a shake? Or yes. Or how does this work? We're, we're taking a piece of pie. Okay. This is our most popular Hawaiian passion pear. Oh, that's, that's a okay. winner. You guys got to go check this out. By the way, we're going to put all these recipes on the website if you're not keeping up at home, okay? Okay. So you're just putting a whole we're piece of pie in the just a whole piece of pie blender. in there, and then we're gonna add our, our ice, ice cream. cream. Where's our ice cream? Can we get our ice cream here? All right. And then we have our one cup of milk. We do one cup of milk. That sounds pretty easy. Very easy, and yeah. actually this is the perfect thing to have when you have kids over uh -huh. um, and you wanna do something interactive. You just, you know, freeze your pie. Over. If you don't finish your pie, just <laughs> throw it in the freezer or what have you. Easy. Open your freezer, have right. your ice cream. I got our ice cream here. And I need a spoon. I like Hagen dazs What do you guys use? We I'm use... I'm trying to get Hagen dazs as a sponsor, that's why. <laughs> we use Hagen dazs You use Hagen dazs Yes, we do. <laughs> Definitely. Do two, two scoops? <laughs> two scoops. Two healthy scoops of Hagen dazs in there. Okay. Okay. And then we and turn this on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, there you go. Put your hand over there. Here. Here we go. No, this Here we go. Here we go. We got it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's done. Do you guys sell these at the uh, at the store? Not yet. You should sell them at the store. <laughs> People can pick their flavor and yeah, yeah, you pick your pie and then you go. We, exactly. we got a glass over there. We have a glass. Okay. Ooh. Let me taste this. Okay. Oh, and you can great. top it with, <laughs> this really is our passion, Hawaiian passion pear. Hawaiian passion pear. Now, usually at the end of the show, we do all the tasting, but this ice cream in here. So we can't wait to the you end of the show. You can. Right? So I asked Joel, uh, can you name all the flavors of the pie? He said, no. Can you, can you name? Just I, roll off some. Okay. Apple, peach, pear, coconut, uh, Hawaiian passion pear, peach, pineapple, peach, pear. Um, let's see. Strawberry like, guava. Uh-huh. Uh, blue peach, blue peach, coconut. banana. That's pretty good. How many at one time do you guys have? We typically will bake six flavors. Six flavors in the shop, but we have all our flavors available, ready to bake in the this freezer. This is ono. The texture, the ice cream, and you—it's like eating uh, apple pie a la mode. Yeah. That's what it That's is. That's what it is. We're gonna taste the rest of the uh, stuff that these guys made. The quiche. We'll take it out of the oven. Uh, what else did we make? We made a, a pie. Kula Kula pie. Yes. <laughs> pie. Don't go anywhere. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style. We've got to thank uh, Rich from Taro Brand for joining us this uh, episode. Also, the Hawaiian Pie Company. This quiche looks amazing. We just took it out of the oven. It was in there for how long? About uh, 15, 20 minutes. During the commercial break. And uh, just so it gets a little color, right? Yes. Go ahead and cut up some pieces there. We've got Portuguese sausage, kimchi in there, uh, this magnificent pie. How do we make that? That's made with kololo, poi, Taro Brand poi, uh -huh. and Island Princess Magadamia nuts. Slightly Very salted. Good. Very good. We can get the recipe on our website at cookinghawaiianstyle.com. This milkshake is a winner. It brings all the boys to the yard.
That's what they say now anyway. <laughs> it's a piece of sliced pie, haagen ice cream, blended. That simple, right? That's all it Very is. Very easy. You guys are located where? 508 White Camilo Road. And you can get all their, uh, their magni magnificent pies and all the other stuff that they're baking. Uh, Taro Brand Poi, of course, you can get in all your favorite stores. And if your restaurant doesn't have it, you better order it, right? I want to taste this. Rich, go ahead. You got a fork over there? Here you go. Go ahead and taste Here's that. A fork. This quiche. Here's I was a waiting quiche. for this quiche. Mmm. I like it. It's a light and fluffy. Tastes of Portuguese sausage and the hint of the kimchi. Yeah. Yeah? Excellent. Oh, so good. Yeah. How about a piece of pie? Did you want to try this? You got to try some pie. Cololo <laughs> pie. Put a little whipped cream on top of the uh, pie float. I'm calling it a pie float. Pie shake. Pie shake. <laughs> pie shake. We got to thank the uh, Four Seasons Resort here on Lanai for having us. Uh, join us next week for another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style. Don't forget to pick up our new cookbook, Cooking Hawaiian Style 2. Thank you guys for joining Thank us. All so right, much we'll see on. you guys next time. Ahui ho, aloha. Aloha. This is amazing. Good job, you guys, cheers. Thank you. Thank you.